Hey guys, John here with Sergeant Reds. Thanks for joining me today. So today is going to be a little bit different of an episode. It's almost like one of those specials. Remember the after school specials with dun, 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 and the special thing? It's kind of going to be like going to kind of be like that. Um, if you guys remember the '80s toy house, I'll put a link to it uh, somewhere up here. Yeah, it'll be up there. Um, this house was full of toys from the '80s. It was like a time capsule. There was stuff that was still inside of Toys R Us bags, Kmart bags, you name it. Um, we found it. And we sent a lot of that stuff off to get graded. So we received a lot of these items back from CAS, Collector Archive Services. Um, and uh, let's show you what we got. There's there's some cool stuff here. Now, one of these pieces was not from um, that collection. Actually, not. There's like two or three. Two or three of these pieces actually came from that Iowa collection. Um, so if I remember which ones it were, I think I do. We'll point those out, and I'll try to throw the video up there as well. Now, this first one here is awesome. I remember finding this in the 80s Toy House, second floor. Um, kind of in the middle of the room, there was a Toys R Us or Kmart bag, I think it was Kmart bag, that had this sealed Imperial Troop Transport in it. So we sent this thing off, never been opened. Um, pretty good shape, it looked like to me. It came back as an 80+, plus, which is a pretty good grade. I don't think I've ever seen anything higher than a 90, ever. So 80+, plus to me, is pretty good. So this here will be for sale in the shop, as most of this stuff will be um, here in the near future. Um, Imperial Troop Transport, 80+, plus, CAS, 80's Toy House. Up next... I'm, yeah, I'm not going to do any fancy graphics, guys. I'm just going to kind of go through this stuff and show you what we got. Now, some of it's still inside of the bags. Um, I'm not going to rip all that out because um, I don't want to lose it all. Now, this one was not from the 80s Toy House. There was another house that we went to. Um, we didn't get to film inside, but we went and made multiple trips there. And um, actually, the person who was dealing with that house um, contacted me about this wrestler that they found. And this is the... Um, LJN white shirt wrestler. Now this guy here, he is mint on card, and he is a 80. So this guy is graded at an 80. Um, again, the reason I'm not taking him out because I don't want to get all these things mixed up. I think you guys should be able to see it inside the, the plastic here. It's clear. Um, again, this was not from the 80s house, but this was just another cool piece that we found right around that same time. I wish we could have done some recordings in that house because um, there was a ton of cool stuff in there. All right, next up. We have... Dun, 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 I know this is 80s Toy House. All the carded Star Wars in this collection is going to be from the 80s house. So this one is actually graded at an 85. And this is IG-88. Now, I don't remember where we found this in the house. I don't know if it was one of those cases upstairs or if this was in the bags that we found in the closet. But uh, this did grade at an 85, um, which is pretty cool. It is an Empire card. Um, I can't see the backs to see, tell you how many backs are on the back. But um, it, No, it says right here. It is a 45 back A. So that's a 45 back A, graded at an 85, which is pretty good. And um, yeah, that'll be here. There's about, I want to say, maybe 15 items, maybe a little more. It's three totes full. What's that? This is CAS. Okay, see, like this is for the um, this is the cert that they gave us for the troop transport. That's the troop transport. Up next. all its 80s house glory we have ooh this is an Empire Strikes Back Han Solo in his Bespin clothes and that's an 80 plus and it is a 41 back so we got the Han Solo there in Bespin outfit again I don't remember where I found that one in the 80s house but um, it's pretty nice pretty nice figure we did have um, some other figures that have come into the shop since that I've sent out, so we're waiting to get some more stuff back. I did send another batch from the 80s house to get graded. Um, there are so many. There's like 99 of them. I didn't want to send them all out. They didn't all need to go out to get graded. Some of them are in the cases here now, but the ones that were nicest we sent out, and I just sent another batch of 10 of them out, too. So here we have a Luke Skywalker and Hoth Battle Gear at an 80. So he's graded at an 80. Pretty nice grades. I mean... I don't know what the highest one we got out of everything was so far. It was at 85 on that, um, was it the IG-88? Alrighty. I know we have a couple G.I. Joes, and I think I said a couple Indiana Jones out for grading as well. So this box here is, ooh, shiny. Right here we have it. This one only graded at a 75, and that's an AT-AT driver, or an AT-AT driver. 
um, however you want to pronounce it. I always used to call them ad ad as a kid, but I've since been told you're supposed to say AT AT. But it is a 75, still a pretty decent card, and it is uh, protected in here. They have a thing in there too, I think that keeps the bubbles from falling off. That's part of the thing that they do, or maybe it's the next batch that I sent them that they just started doing that. Chris, if you're watching, Chris Whitlock over at CAS, um, he's local here, so he was the one I talked to, and he was kind of the guy that helped me kind of work through all this stuff. He's with CAS. If you're not following them, they do videos from time to time on their YouTube channel um, as well. So here we have an 85. This is a Luke X-Wing pilot. It is unpunched. Um, Empire Strikes Back card. Um, it is a... Where does it say the back? 41 back. Empire Strikes Back card. So that's another nice one, another 85. I don't know that I got anything as a 90. And I don't know, I don't know that they actually would grade anything higher than a 90. I, I know some of these companies won't grade anything 100, so I don't know if someone from CAS is watching or uh, another collector who knows. Do they grade higher? Can you get mint condition, like, legit? All right, right here is, ooh, this is a G.I. Joe. So the first G.I. Joe of our collection that we're going to be showing today is an 85 plus. Now, this one, I believe, was in the closet at the 80s house. And um, that's Firefly. So we do have the Firefly here who graded at an 85 plus. Really nice shape. One thing that worries me about these G.I. Joes that they grade, anything, even just loose on card, is that those O-rings, if they fall apart inside the card, you now have a graded carded figure that's mint on card, but the figure is broken in half. Um, there's not really anything you can do. It's just the way, you know, these things weren't made to last this long, and unfortunately, it can happen. Hopefully it doesn't happen to that. So let's, uh, switch over to the second bin. All right. Let's see here. This one here is... Ooh, Empire Strikes Back. It is a 41 back Obi Wan Kenobi. So we got the 80, or what did he grade? He graded at 80 plus for Obi Wan. So let me know in the comments below, guys. What are your thoughts on graded car um, figures? Like, do you think that they should be graded, not graded? Do you think it helps the uh, to preserve them over time? I think they do because these block UV rays and all that stuff. And, you know, if you have an unfortunate dropping incident, um, at least the acrylic will help protect it. So this one here, ooh, this is a nice one. This here is a 41 back Stormtrooper, and it is graded at an 80. So when I say 41 back, for those of you who aren't familiar, on the back it shows how many different figures there were, and you can't see it on this card um, because of the cert. But there's 41 different figures on the back, so that's what would be the 41 back. So we've got the 41 back Stormy. Really nice figure. What's up next? I'm going to get the first peek. This one here is an 80 plus, and it is a 41 back as well. 41 back D, Bosk the Bounty Hunter. This is a cool figure. I remember playing with this one when I was a kid. Kind of like that lizard looking dude. He was only in the show for like a brief second when those Bounty Hunters were lined up. Maybe they'll do another show or something and show some more of the history of him. I'm sure there's something in the comics or in a book, but... I never really got into all that lore, but I'd, I'd watch a show about Bosk. He looks pretty cool. Alright, next up is... Ooh, this is going to be our first Indiana Jones. So we only found two carded Indiana Jones figures in the entire house. This one graded at a 70+, plus, probably because there's some veining on the card. But this is a very rare figure anyways. Um, we have Marion Ravenwood from Indiana Jones. So this figure loose is a, is a pretty penny. On card, it's, a, it's an even prettier penny. Um, graded at a 70+. plus. We'll see uh, what this one ends up going for. But yeah, Marion Ravenwood there from Indiana Jones. I've been watching more Indiana Jones lately and other like retro shows here in the shop. We'll just have them play on our TV. Um, I think I've watched Temple of Doom I don't know how many times. And um, Last Crusade a couple times. And just Indiana Jones... The Raiders of the Lost Ark, a bunch as well. So this one here is going to be an Imperial TIE Fighter Pilot, which used to be $2.68. He graded it at an 85, and that's a 48 back. So we do have that. Really cool figure. Now with these ones loose, there's always these emblems on them, and those are what people tend to look for to make sure that they're not um, 
not, don't have any tape wear and stuff like that. So that's a nice fig. And then we have bum 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 bum. bum. We have Forlom. Okay, this is going to be Empire card, and he is graded at 80. 48 back, Forlom. Really nice figure, again. And every time I look at these things, or any of the figures that we got at the A's house, it kind of brings me back to that day. That was the, those days, weeks, I guess it was, that it took us to clean that place out. It was a trip. I mean, we still get people to come in the shop and talk about it. It's pretty cool. I mean, it was... I don't want to say it's a once-in-a-lifetime find, because I hope I find another similar... Uh, House, building, warehouse, you name it. Storage unit, don't care. Something like that again. It's out there. They're out there. All right. Ooh, this one's nice. So this is Return of the Jedi, Bespin Leia, and she's graded at an 85. So Bespin Leia, 85. Nice figure. $2.68. I think the retro collection ones now cost like 18 bucks. Little carded figures like that. All right, we got the last bin here, guys. Move this over to here. And, all right, so this is some of the loose figures. Now these loose ones, I don't remember. You know, we got this EV, um, EV99 here. Now she, he, whatever it is, is graded at an 85, it's loose. I don't remember if this came from Iowa or if this was loose in the 80s house. It does have its coin. This figure didn't come with a weapon, but an 85 plus on this figure is pretty good. Um, this is one of those figures you always find when the arms are broken off. Um, so we do have that one there. Nice fig. This one 100% came from the uh, the Iowa trip. Now this is the security scout vehicle, and it is um, the Tri logo. So you have the power of the Force, the Star Wars leg. Guardes et Toiles and El Ponderosa de la Frizz. I don't speak any of these languages. I apologize for butchering them. And this one, where's the grade at? Up oh, there it is. This one graded at an 80. This is a Poloi Toy Star Wars um, security scout vehicle. There's a couple other Lucy's in here. We'll go through those and then it looks like I have one, two, three, four, five, six more to go. So this is a vinyl cape. This one, 100%, I know came from the 80s or the uh, Iowa trip. This one graded at 85 plus. Now, a lot of times, these capes will start to get, like, some black splotches on them, like the carded one we had uh, that we purchased. Uh, that one had some black splotches on it. This one does not. This one is graded at an 85+, plus, so that's a really nice vinyl cape jaw. The nice thing about these, like the authentic, um, you know, getting them authenticated, is there's a lot of fakes. There's a lot of reproduction capes. This one's real. Um, we got the stamp of approval right there. Same thing with that Wonder Bread He-Man that we did. There's just so many fakes out there for those. Now we have a Boba Fett. This is just a regular old Boba Fett, not a rocket-firing one. And he is an 80 plus. Boba Fett is 80 plus right there. That's probably Iowa trip. Maybe I, I don't know. It might have just come out of the 80s house. I don't remember. I just thought it looked really nice, so I figured I'd send it off. And last but not least, on the Lucy Gooseys here, is at an 80. We have a blue Snaggletooth. So an 80 blue snag um, figure. That one I believe came from Iowa. Really nice shape. A lot of times you'll get a lot of rubs on the boots on these things. And then um, this one is the no toe dent version. So, for those of you who don't know, the Blue Snaggletooth was released before the show came out. Or they, I guess they had this in pre-production, and so they didn't realize he was going to be shorter than everybody else wearing red, so they just kind of made him this color, and this came with the Creature Cantina place, I believe. I'm sure someone out there knows that history and lore better, so they'll let us know and tell me I'm an idiot in the comments below, but um, it is what it is. All right, so we have these last couple ones. Let's go over these. This one here is going to be... Empire Strikes Back Darth Vader, and that is going to be a 41A back. So that's a nice Vader right there. 80s house all the way. 85. Nice card. I'm pretty sure that came out of the closet. When we did that one area where we found all that stuff inside the closet. I'm still going through 80s house stuff, not even just the stuff I sent out to grade. I mean, there's just so much stuff and so much putting together and all that jazz. I mean, it's just a ton. This one here we have Princess Leia in the Hoth outfit. She's an 85 and she's a 41A. So we have the Princess Leia there. Really nice figure. Um, really good grade, 85. I think 85 is the highest we got out of any of this stuff. And 85 to me is a pretty decent grade on these figures, especially since they were, you know, they were in a bag underneath all kinds of stuff at the bottom of a closet for the most part. 
All right, up next is going to be a C-3PO from Empire Strikes Back. And that is a 41 back E. And he's graded at an 85. And again, guys, it's going to take me some time. I'm going to have to get all this stuff priced out. So once this video drops, some of this stuff probably won't be priced out yet. Um, but if there's interest, I know I have a couple local people that are interested in buying some of these things. Um, so I'll give them first dibs. And then after that, um, they'll be in the showcase here in the store. Um, but if there's anybody out there in video land that's interested in them, we can always work a deal um, via mail. All right, up next is going to be an 80 plus Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark, um, or Han Solo's grandpa. Again, that was in the 80s house. Only two carded figures um, for Indiana Jones that came out of there. There was a 12-inch Indy, but he was actually open. Um, he was in the box, but open. And there was a bunch of loose figures and play sets uh, in there as well. So those ones are pretty nice, pretty snazzy. There's two left, guys. Bear with me here. This one here is another G.I. Joe. So this is the Baroness, and she graded it at 80 plus. So the Baroness is an 80 plus. And again, I didn't even look to see. Do they have back on these? They do. I just did it say 32 back on her. So we got the Baroness. There wasn't as much G.I. Joe carded in the house. I want to say we might have maybe found eight figures um, carded. We did have the Mail Away Duke, which I am sending off to get graded. And I believe there's another Mail Away Duke that's actually um, still sealed in the packaging. All right, last but not least, we have an 80-plus Empire Strikes Back, 48-back A, Chewbacca. So there you have it, guys. That's what we have back from the 80s house and the Iowa trip. Again, it's been a while. This stuff's been sitting here. Um, it came back, I think it took us like maybe six months to get it back um, when we sent the stuff off. But it's just been, I, I just haven't had a chance to do the video. I wanted to shoot the video. Um, we did send off a Boba Fett graded at a 70 or 70 plus but that one already sold um, i sold that today actually but um we will be getting this stuff priced out and get it out on the floor if there's if you're local and you want to pick one up swing on by um again it's gonna take me a little bit of time to get the prices and stuff on these things uh put together and find some space to put these in the showcases but um you guys want to see a tour of the shop it's been a while i'm gonna show you a tour of the shop let's do it all right guys so we're gonna do a quick tour of the shop um to close out the video um, tell me what you think about the graded figures, but also if you see anything in the shop you're interested in, shoot us a message, put us a comment down below, and make sure, as always, hit the bell, like, blah, blah, blah. Let's turn on the camera. All right, so, obviously, all these figures aren't going to fit in the showcases, so all this stuff is not staying here. Um, I'll probably put three or four figs out, um, so if there's something you see and you're interested in, just make sure you let me know, and I can get it here um, for you, because, one, there's not a ton of space, and two, I don't want to keep all of those here. We did clean up a bunch of uh, mask figures. If you follow us on Insta, Facebook, and all I just said Insta. God. All right. We cleaned up a bunch of mask figures. This was, again, from that house that I mentioned earlier where tons of stuff. Um, we have a complete volcano in there. It actually works. I tested it. The uh, electronics work. Firecracker. That thing. I forget what it is. We do have a Star Wars LCD watch never used. We got the vulture, I think it's called, or the buzzard. Um, slingshot. Bunch of masks that we just got put together. Some of the split seconds complete as well. Ask Christopher. Actually, let's edit, put that right here about one of the split seconds that he dropped a very expensive piece into the void. So, Chris. So, Chris, what, what's going on? What happened? Oh, well, we were going through toys and we dropped a very we? valuable Wait, piece. we? Yeah, yeah, it's your store. Yeah, yeah. So, what do we have to do? So, we had to cut the floor open and now I am going oh. to stick my hand... I'll hold the flashlight. You, no, 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 you don't. You're going to knock it down. You're going to have to go. <gasps> get it. You get it. Go, girl. What would you do something grabbed you? And we had to, oh, God. Talk about Indiana Jones reaching through spider webs. Got a giant size Hulk Hogan down there. Oh, it's cool. Got the great Garlu. So much cool stuff. We put out some of these uh, super robots from the 80s house as well. Um, you got Leader One and uh, the Friendly Robot Tractor Stacks. I did sell some Star Wars today, so I need to come in here and restock those. Obviously, we have some stuff. I just got to get it down. Same with G.I. Joe. Me and Chris have been out here uh, after hours kind of getting stuff sorted and put in uh, the cases. He's been helping out. Some new Transformers in here as well. Got a Megatron in the box back there. Optimus in the box. I think we found some stompers. Our friend John helped us fix some of these things. Um, 
that needed a little love, so we got some more working stompers in here. Some Motu. Thundercats. Always new stuff going out, guys. Actually, I sold a couple vehicles down there, so I need to replenish that today. And as you guys know, we try to have a little bit of everything in the shop. Ooh, I just walked right by my NECA wall. What's the newest NECAs we got in? We did get the Tattoo Gremlins. That's a cool two-pack. We got the Dracula, um, the black and white run there. Black and white Drac. Grimsword. Should have a couple War Dukes left. Alf. So we got all the new ones in. A ton of Funko Pops. I mean, we, we got more Funko Pops than probably any other um, collectible store in the area. It's not just what you see down here. We probably have about a thousand Pops on the floor. Um, but we also have thousands of them um, in the warehouse. So if there's something specific you're looking for, we're working on getting all that stuff um, kind of cataloged. Some new G.I. Joes, some of the 25th anniversary again, some more pops back there. Um, we wanted to have a good balance of everything, you know, for everybody. Like, we even have Hot Wheels. They don't take up a ton of space. We put them there. Transformer section is massive. Um, this entire side is Transformers. We got a bunch of Transformers that kind of bled over into this, like, Dragon Ball area. Some more Transformers there. We have a ton. People call all the time. Do you have Transformers? We're like, yeah, we have Transformers. And then they come in here and they're like, holy moly. Mind blown. Got the 18 man. A lot of wrestling stuff. We do have some wrestlers coming in um, to do a meet and greet. We have Sergeant Slaughter coming on April 23rd. Um, and then in May, we have Alex Vincent, who was uh, Andy in Child's Play. And he's also, well, he plays Andy and Chucky as well. Um, some more wrestling figs here. It's all wrestling. More wrestling. Wrestling is pretty popular. That's one of our bigger sellers is the wrestling items. Wrestling and horror. Uh, what was up there? We sold a, uh, one of the last sales of the day today was a bank, a Buzz Lightyear bank. So just kind of doing a sm slow walk through the shop after the excitement of those um, graded figures. We do have this Beastie Boys intergalactic set, which is really cool. Um, let me see if I can get this out of the box. All right, so there you go. You got the uh, robot and the alien from Intergalactic in there. It's really neat. Super 7 does some cool stuff. Um, then you got the Beavis and Butthead here. I am quite Holyo. I need TP for my bunghole. And he actually comes with a roll of toilet paper, which I guess is real TP. So if you really wanted to use it, it comes with TP for your bunghole. And now we also have, like, so Nacelle, the Nacelle company um, has these figures that they've, they, I guess they've uh, re- Breathe, re, little, what's a good way of putting it? They breathe new life into some of these old RIPs. So, Roboforce, um, they have their Evil Knievel stunt cycle. DNA Toys made these Mad Ball figures, but I think, and I correct me if I'm wrong out there in uh, YouTube land, I think Nacelle bought them or bought their inventory. So, we have those as well, as well as the uh, Barnyard Commandos, which are pretty cool figures. They come with some accessories. Look at that guy. Hey, what are you doing? Uh huh. Got those fellas there. All these predators. A ton of different NECA predators. We did get the new Billy the Puppet on the tricycle from NECA in as well. Just kind of some randomness here. Here's some more wrestling. We have the old uh, LJN ring up here with some figures in it. Speaking of Chucky, there he is. So Alex will be here um, May. Hold on, I'm going to walk over to our graphic. Gelatinous Cube! Show you who else we have coming. So we also have so Sergeant Slaughter, April twenty third, Alex Vincent, May seventh, Brutus the Barber Beefcake, June seventeenth, and Jimmy Hart, July sixteenth. And that's just the start of it, guys. We're gonna try to do a lot more of these meet and greets. They're really fun. Um, I know you guys all enjoy them when you come out for them. And typically, what we're doing is we're the lines out the front. If you're here for the signing, you line up there. If you're here for just shopping, come in the store. Um, so you don't have to wait in line if you're just here to shop. Here are like wall of blind bags. So we moved all the blind bags over here so they're kind of all in one spot. They were kind of mixed in down there with the candies, but we got a bunch more candy in. Our retro candy selection. We do have the Dino Lucky Egg Machine. Me and Shane were filling eggs all day today. Muscle Men, Micro Machines, Pins, you name it. If it was fit in there and cool, put it in there. There are some of those blue horses, though. We have our giant Porg. And again, we got the Barbie section back here. Barbies have been really popular. We sell a lot of them, you know? 
We got the Barbie, Barbie uh, Fashion Center there from that pick. Our Simpsons section. I keep restocking because the Simpsons are always popular. I just brought three or four more figures up today. I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but sell three or four a day. Kind of roll through them pretty quick. Spawn. They're cool. The biggest pit problem I have with spawn figures is the bubbles are so big. You can only fit like four on a hook, whereas some of this stuff you can fit like five or six, eight on a hook. Sporting figures, we normally don't deal with these, but, you know, I bought a couple collections with them in it, and they've been selling pretty good, so I might pick up some more of these. They're not super expensive, so that might be why they sell pretty good. Um, and I price them pretty low uh, compared to, like, eBay prices. But we have those back here. Again, I've been... This is hard to keep organized back here with these tables. I might delete one of these tables and put a couple more showcases so I can get more vintage down here. But this is just a, such a cool mix of stuff. I always see people back here digging. Um, I try to keep it organized, but when people dig, it kind of gets kind of messed up. We have like our Funko t-shirts back here. Some of the lower end pops. Um, some, a lot of Star Wars. This is kind of our Star Wars area other than the vintage. And then we have the uh, Black Series there across from the register. But anyways, guys, I think that's more than enough of a tour, except for we missed one side of the shop, and we got to show that. Superhero Alley. Now your Marvel Legends, DC Multiverse, more Marvel Legends. Kind of got a mix of DC and Marvel on these end caps. Kind of another mix here. Just kind of a lot of everything. And we got some cool stuff in here. Little Kool-Aid bottle. I love these old, like, just kind of trinkets, kind of just random this is my i love this is probably one of my favorite showcases because there's so much memory so much nostalgia here it's not even all expensive some of it's you know eight bucks for a wind-up car or whatever probably 10 bucks for that moo thing there's just all kinds of random stuff in there and again yes i need led lights i need a led light specialist to come in here and help me get my leds in these cases because all the stuff on top which i need up there because i need the space blocks the light and when it's dark no light coming from out there makes it tough so anyways guys oh quick story dawn donuts was a local like donut shop gas station kind of mini mart type place and there was one right up the street from my house when i was a kid one of my first jobs was the paper route and my first payday i went up to dawn donuts at the corner and i went inside and i took my first paycheck ever and my chubby fat little but went inside and I bought like 10 payday bars. And the good God, I probably sat there and ate them all. They were the most delicious, well-earned paydays ever. Um, but uh, yeah, that's why this cup here, Dawn Donuts, they're gone now, is on my table of memories. God, oh, those are delicious payday bars. And to this day, I don't eat paydays anymore because, oh, I ate too many of them. Anyways, guys, that's it for today. We're going to get this stuff priced out and uh, get some of this stuff out. If you're interested in any of that and you're local, let me know. I'll bring it in. Um here have some of them in here wherever i can fit some and uh we'll go from there until next time guys see you at the shop